Hi Brownie class, welcome back to summer two. Hope you've had a fantastic half term. Hopefully you have been resting, having fun, uh, getting outside in this glorious weather and maybe even meeting up with a friend. Um, as always, it's fantastic to hear what you are getting up to. So please make sure you email us and let us know how your half term went and what you're getting up to this week. As always, I start my videos off with photographs, pictures of emails that you have been sending in to us to show us what you've been doing, whether that's work, whether that's having fun, whether that's going out exploring. Um, so here are some photographs of what you and the rest of Brownlee have been getting up to. My book review for you this week is a book called You're a Bad Man, Mr Gum by Andy Stanton. Uh, we've read the first few. There's about eight books in the series. Uh, let me read you the blurb on the back of the book. Good evening. Mr Gum is a complete horror who hates children, animals, fun and corn on the cob. This book's all about him and an angry fairy who lives in his bathtub and Jake the dog and a little girl called Polly and an evil stinky butcher all covered in guts and there's heroes and sweets and adventures and everything. These are great because they're funny, they're quirky, they're a little bit strange in places, they're not your usual story, uh, they allow your imagination to run wild and they're a real light relief to um, sort of some of the other books, you know, that take a long while to read. I'll give you an example why. Chapter four. Mr. Gum has a cup of tea. Mr. Gum had a cup of tea. Chapter five. That was a whole chapter. It made us laugh. It made us chuckle. As I say, there's several books uh, about Mr. Gum, who's slightly strange, can't decide whether we like him or whether we don't like him. Uh, but have a read, have a look, see what you think. Tell me, email me, Did you uh, have you read any of the books that I've been recommending over the last few weeks? Have you read Mr. Gum before? What do you think to Mr. Gum? Uh, let me know what you think. This week's top tips for isolation. So every time I do a video, I share with you some of our top tips for what we've been doing in isolation. Um, it's been fantastic to hear from some of you that have told me that you've been making your jars and that you have been um, doing the time capsules. I hope you've enjoyed doing them. Thank you for sharing with me. This week's tip, um, quizzes. Lockdown seems to be all about the quiz. Adults, children, families, we're all quizzing. I think it's because something we can all do virtually. It's very interesting, it's stimulating, and it's good fun. So I challenge you this week to write a quiz. Write a quiz for your family. So here in the Sinclair household, we um, all take it in turns to write a quiz, just kind of 10, 15 questions, and we have a quiz after dinner once a week. Quizzes are good because you learn new things, you share information and you can have a laugh as well. You can make your quizzes funny, you can make them about things that you guys wouldn't have ever heard of before or learnt about before. Um, different types of quizzes, so you can do different styles of questions, so you can have multiple choice questions where you get lots of different answers and you have to choose which you think is the right answer. You can have true or false questions, you can have yes and no questions, and then you can have the ones where you have to be able to retrieve that fact, you have to go, yep, yeah, this is the answer. 
Um, so I'm going to give you a quiz, only five questions. Um, what I'd like you to do is have a go at answering my five questions. Um, email me, tell me what you think the answers are. Um, and then in my next video, I will um, give you the answers to this quiz. So I've given you um, a very random mix of questions, different types of questions. So you could have a look at um, copying any of the styles or types of questions that I've done. Um, so have a go. Email me if you'd like to. You might want to use these questions with your family. And then I challenge you to write your own quiz that you can share with your family, your friends, your siblings, anyone that you would like to. So here's my quiz. Question number one. What percentage of the world's fresh water is in Antarctica? So that's question number one. What percentage of the world's fresh water is in Antarctica? Question number two. Where does bread originate from? Sorry, where does bread originate from? Question number three. What nursery rhyme has the line bend and bow, bend and bow in it? Question number four. True or false? Polar bears try to be invisible in the snow by covering their nose with their paws. So that's true or false. Polar bears try to be invisible in the snow by covering their nose with their paws. Is that true or false? And finally, number five. In a moment, a photograph is going to come up on the screen. Can you name it? So when the photograph comes up on the screen, can you name what this is? So that's it from me for this week. Um, hope you have a brilliant start to summer one. Things to remember then. Uh, have a look on the school website today. There's all your work on there ready to go. If you would like a paper pack, so if you would like everything that's on that website printed off, um, you can come into school and pick up a pack and take that home with you. Um, so that's all there, all the spellings and, and all the different activities that we've got on the website. You can get the paper copies from school. Um, email us, let Miss Water and myself know what you've been getting up to over half term, what you're doing with your work this week, um, if you've been out, where you've been, what you've get, been getting up to. Uh, remember to listen out to the phone. Uh, you know, Miss Warburton and myself will be ringing you at some point this week. It's really lovely having a chat with you and finding out what you've been getting up to. Um, so, yeah, if we can have a chat with you that week, this week, that would be fantastic as well. Um, and have a go at my quiz. Try it out. See if you can answer the questions. Um, email me. Let me know what you think the answers are to those questions. So that's it. Have a good week. Enjoy the start of summer one. Um, take care, stay safe, and hopefully we'll see you soon.